I was the fat kid. You remember me, the one from elementary school, the one everyone made fun of. Hungry Hungry Hippo, Blubber Belly, and Fat Albert were my nicknames. I was the one who didn't have cool clothes because mine were purchased from the back of the store in the husky section. I was the one who was picked last in sports because being the fat kid made you even less popular than the nerdy kid. I was the one who felt the idea of having a girlfriend was about as likely as finding myself touching the moon. I remember laying in bed praying to God that when I arose I'd be normal or dead. Kids were mean, kids were cruel, and most of all they loved to pick on the fat kid. Yeah, that was me. Fifteen years later my prayers were answered. My transformation definitely didn't occur overnight but I clearly remember the events as they took place. It took a long time and a lot of painful experiences to finally change my situation. I'm all grown up now and I'm no longer fat. What used to be flab is now muscle. What used to be rejection is now acceptance. What used to be shame is now confidence. I am no longer the butt of fat jokes. Yet, tucked away in a small corner of my heart, I'm still the fat kid. In looking back on my childhood, I'm actually glad I was that kid. Now granted, given the option to be thin, I would have taken it in a heartbeat. But being the object of derision is what forged me into a confident and compassionate person. It made me the man I am today. It is also the reason for this book. I'm not a proponent of any particular diet plan. I don't claim to be an authority in the field of nutrition or fat loss. However, I am a person who believes in finding the truth. And in my effort to get in shape, I sought the facts, the real facts, about fat loss and dieting. For years, like many Americans, I believed in and adhered to the low-fat, low-calorie diet. And like the majority of people, I wasn't successful on such diets. Still, in need of an answer, I began doing my own research into the fat loss process. For several years, I read and gathered facts while mindfully trying to keep my weight under control. During my years of information gathering and research, the only concrete evidence I obtained is that there is no authority on fat loss because no one completely understands it. There are three generally accepted entities that provide information in the field of fat loss and obesity. Government organizations, doctors and medical specialists, and research institutions. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration's Recommended Daily Allowances, RDA, along with the United States Department of Agriculture's USDA, Food Pyramid and Dietary Guidelines are the most widely accepted resources of information as to what a healthy diet should consist of. But contrary to popular belief, these recommendations are not supported by science. In fact, the history behind the development of these guidelines is quite controversial because there is no solid data to support the benefits of following the recommendations. Next are the doctors and medical specialists who, unfortunately, are trained to treat disease, not overfat issues and obesity. Their advice is usually a mere textbook echo of the government's recommendations because they're not only pressured to follow the same guidelines, but they're also often influenced by the mainstream medical community. Last are the studies performed by scientists at research institutions. The problem with research studies is their tendency to be biased. Research studies are costly and are not typically funded by the institution itself. Ironically, funding for research often comes from private companies that will benefit from the research. Hence, the problem of the results is they get what they pay for. Because of the lack of credible information available, I started doing my own research. Armed with only loosely gathered data and a basic knowledge of biology and nutrition, I set out to find answers for myself. At times, the information I discovered was exciting. Other times it was upsetting. What you're about to learn now is the result of 10 years of objective research which started out as a simple endeavor to solve a personal problem. Research in the area of fat loss is still limited and new discoveries are being made every day. I wrote this book based on information currently available and on that which I collected over the years. The information within these pages comes from my own personal fat loss battle and from those clients I've worked with. My intent isn't to convince you that my approach is the only method, nor is it to ridicule other authors. Rather, this book is written to be a map on your fat loss journey. 
It will provide you with ways to overcome the mental and physical obstacles associated with fat loss by providing first-hand experience from those who have traveled the path before you this book will help you utilize new solutions to the same old problems I've made every attempt to deliver the information in a condensed and non-technical way I don't go into every detail of the why's and how of fat loss because I believe people who purchase a how-to book want the condensed version of data furthermore there are several great books that I will bring to your attention along the way which provide in-depth explanations into the subjects I address. For the technical explanations that must be presented, I have provided additional resources for you to follow up with, which I strongly encourage you to do.